everybody. Um, today, we have the whole family here. Yeah. <laughs> And Miss A is laying down, so she is not feeling well today. Um, and it was a very interesting day. The puppy wants to get in it. Yep, the puppy. Uh huh. She came home sick from school, and just really being super pitiful. Yeah. I felt she so wasn't bad. feeling good at all. Yeah, it's a stomach bug. Um, but I thought I would kind of walk through and talk about how this day went, as far as from a from a foster parent's perspective, like all the different things that we had to do and the obstacles that we faced, um, you know, and all we were trying to do was make sure she got the care she needed while she was sick. So what do we start with? So Whitney took her to the doctor. Yeah, I picked her up from school and talked with the nurse. Um, at first, I was really scared it was appendicitis. That'd be so because, bad. Yeah, like I was really, really scared because um, she didn't seem to be like nauseous or anything. Um, so I was really, really worried. And when I picked her up from school, took her to urgent care, um, they said, if they think that it's appendicitis, you have to take her straight to the hospital. So I was like, oh my goodness, like this could be super serious. Um, Luckily it was not. Luckily it was not. It was just a stomach bug. But um, but basically, even at urgent care, it's like filling out paperwork. Um, you know, a lot of times it's like, look, whatever you need, just like, just get her in and, and, and yeah. have, her, have her be seen. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Um, but technically, you know, as soon as we get there, we're supposed to be calling the caseworker, um, letting them know that she is seeing a doctor. Um, then we have to let our caseworker know. So we have two caseworkers, one with the county. Who one is with the, the agency. Yeah. And basically the way it's split is like the county caseworker is her caseworker and our agency's caseworker is our caseworker, still representing her best interest though. So I called and left a message. I texted our caseworker and like the visit was okay. It was a really awkward doctor. I think you've been there. Oh like, yeah. So he like tries to make jokes and yeah, yeah, it's weird. And she was not feeling it because she was just yeah, not feeling feel well. Good. And so I, I'm just like, oh my god, how do I make this less uncomfortable? <laughs> and I tried to like hurry things along, but anyway, just a really awkward doctor. And then he sent the prescription to the wrong pharmacy. Yeah. So I, I go to Walgreens to get the prescription. They're like, it's not here. And last time we had a prescription pickup, we ran into an issue. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah. So the insurance with foster kids, basically since the county are the ones that have the parental rights, they're the ones that have to take care of like pretty much anything like that. Yeah. So they're the ones that deal with insurance and all that. So it's about two, three weeks ago, she had to get a prescription for something mm -hmm. and when I went to Walgreens to get it there, they said, well, the insurance kicked it back and said that they're not going to do it and all this. I'm like, oh, man. So, and obviously, I can't call the insurance on her behalf. No, nope, because we're nobody. Yeah, we're not. We don't, <laughs> we have, don't any, have any real rights. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, like, we, we don't have parental rights. It's the county that has temporary yeah. temporary parental rights. Um, so, we, <laughs> our county representative is the one that has to actually call and do all that until so they what do. what was it that they said? It was... So... Our caseworker gave Miss A a Medicaid card for uh, prescriptions and, you know, doctor visits and everything else. But supposedly that is only good for like a month and you're supposed to get an actual um, account through this like care source insurance and they didn't do that. So they're kicking it back and it's just, it sucks. And we, and we talked to the caseworker and the caseworker's like, acting like there shouldn't be any problem and it's like okay but there is a problem yeah, so, so do something about do it do something about it so we ended up how much it was 160 dollars last time yeah out of pocket um and and we you know we just made the choice that like we'll figure it out later yeah we can't get it reimbursed or anything like that but um this time it was 230 this time it was 230 because the caseworker hasn't fixed the issue yet um so just like random things like that that you know, you don't realize it's a problem until it's a problem and you're faced with it and then you're kind of stuck and, you know, these kids just need the medicine and the, you know, to, to see doctors without, you know, a bunch of 
you know, poops to jump through. Yeah, puked? makes our jobs a lot harder. Did you say puked? No, I said hoops. Oh, why did you say pukes? <laughs> pukes. Pukes. Um, hey, bud. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sawyer's just crawling like crazy. Yeah, I'm just getting bigger. Um, but yeah, she's feeling a little bit better now, so we're about to eat dinner and get her some soup. Yeah, we can get pizza. No. No. The kid came to the door selling pizzas for And now she thinks we're eating pizza school. for yeah, dinner. So now that's and we're eating all she's talking pasta. about. Oh. Yeah. I thought uh, we were eating pizza, but we order pizza. Yeah. So when, um, so if you have a foster kiddo in your care and they get sick, I would just recommend um, over-inform um, talk to all the people on the care team, make sure that everybody knows, um, because they do have to have like a log of, of all of those things. Yeah. And, um, make sure you've got insurance cards before you go to the doctor. And everything. Yeah. I think we've failed at that. Like, I feel like we should well, have like, it like was a, fine for the doctor visits, but like, I don't understand. Yeah. I think we need to go back and like check on all that stuff and yeah. have it better documented on our end. So we don't face this again. Um, so that's that's something fun you know it's not like you can just take your kid and make the decisions um you know yourself um so that causes some some issues so that has been our day with um miss a getting sick and we're gonna keep an eye on her um she's already been able to talk to her parents um, so she's already been able to talk to her parents. I did text her mom after I informed the caseworker and all of that just to give her a heads up um, that, you know, what, what happened and how she was feeling. And she's actually able to talk to her now, now that she's feeling a little bit better. Um, because I'm sure that's hard for them to oh, yeah. know that their kid is sick and that they it's can't be there. helpless feeling. Yeah. So um, we're taking care of her, doing our best, and that's it. Bye, guys. See you next time. Yes, I do. I was not I go get candy. Really? Yeah. Where's the candy? I don't think we have candy. On the table. Oh, okay. If you can find it, you can have it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get it. Okay, bye. Spoiler alert. It's not there. There's no candy.